Yes, I got a new reward. And I filled up all of the tables. That are, that are the closest tables to the door, anyway. A sloth skeleton decoration. Oh my god, a sloth skeleton, everybody. We found the bones of a sloth. And we got a field snack, so. All right, let's go get a good fishing rod. It is really, really hard to get friends as an adult brood. I've actually, um, I heard a special in passing when I was driving one time on NPR when they were talking specifically about that, about how hard it is for people to find friends when you're an adult because like a lot of adults have been they're number one they're busy but they've also been like potentially burned in their life by other friends and so they're just naturally more guarded and cautious and they don't want to make friends you know as readily unlike you know when you're in elementary school and everybody's like hey you want to be friends and you're like cool let's do this so it's it's a real thing that you, it's so hard. Yeah, it is a lot like Terraria, Mr. Smith, and that's a game I need to play and put some time into and actually beat. I could not get the hang of the controls in that game. All right, I'm going to buy this Iridium Rod because it looks awesome. And you can use a hook and you can use bait. So we'll just put that in there. And then what else you got, buddy? Now I want like a lead bobber, sure. I want a trap bobber. Uh-huh. And I want a spinner. Whatever. All of it, dude. Give me the good stuff. Plus one fishing if you drink this trout soup. Yeah, I'll have some of that. Sure. Exactly, right? Adults are busy. Like, they they have their own relationships. They I have families and things. It's so hard to navigate that, those waters. It's tricky to make friends at work, you know, because that can lead to some weird boundary situations. I did make it to the store. I feel great. Ooh, look, we got some good quests over here. Let's see what they got. Um, So... He wants, Gunther wants a hundred pieces of bone. Um, I think I can definitely get those because all I need to do is kill skeletons and skeletons are super easy to find in the caves. So let me just do that. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Smith. I've been doing the same thing. Best of luck. God, you deserve some time off. I bet. And yeah, it's great in RuneScape with the double experience. You actually feel like it's flying up. Even on the... I don't have any skills that are that high. But still, I just... It's so good. May your skills... Rise triumphantly. On double experience. Alright, I'm going to pick all this stuff up. Here we go. Here we go. Um, are we good? Did I pick up all the eggs? I did. Good. I'm good. Let me just make sure there's no truffles. Here's a truffle. That's what I'm looking for. Here's another truffle. Now we're talking. I think Crispy Bacon found some truffles for us. It's a beautiful thing. Um, I'll... I think Pierre sells grass seed, am I right? So, like Lance is talking about, I can plant a bunch more grass, and I should do that. All right. Now, let me get everything taken care of, and 
go do some fishing. I'll go to the mines tomorrow to get these skeletons. It's a little late right now. Oh, you know what? You're right. I could make it to Pierre's, especially if I took my trusty steed. Let's go. It's a race. We've got 40 minutes, but I've got my cowboy hat and my horse. 30 minutes. Don't close early on me, dude. Don't do it. Don't close. No, no, no. Talk to this guy. Oh. Oh, I just gave him cheese. No, I don't want to give him cheese. Talk, just talk to him. Oh, God. No, I missed it. The mouse and keyboard. I didn't know how to talk to him. I kept trying to right-click on him. And it was like, you want to give this gift? I'm like, no, I don't want to give this gift. How do I unselect what I'm holding? God's name is going on here. <laughs> oh, well, next time. Yeah, see, it's like I got cheese, but I don't want to hold cheese. Can I put it away? Hey, hey, Drew James. What is up, my friend? Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's awesome. Kent is in need of carp. I'll give you 90 gold and I'll be pleased. I love this note. It's like help one and he's like, look, I'll be really happy if you do this for me. All right, dude. It was by the skin of the teeth. What's so funny too is like, Pierre is a shopkeeper, and I'm in front of him, like, hey, dude, I want to buy some stuff, and he just straight walks away. He's like, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be there for you. Keep your money. I'm out. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I guess I'll see you, like, tomorrow. Eh, maybe. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Oh, okay, buddy. Oh, awesome, Mr. Smith. Truck shopping sounds like a lot of fun. I hope they got some nice ones. Alright, I did that. Oh, a grass starter recipe. Yes, let me look at that. That's a great question. Um, fertilizer, retaining soil, tree fertilizer, basic fertilizer, wild seeds, wild seeds, wild seeds, ancient seeds. There might be. I might just not know it. You know what I mean? That's, I wouldn't put it past myself to not understand how to make it. All right. Now, let me put this fertilizer away. Not this container, this one. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Do I have carp in here for my man? I got bream, I got salmon, halibut, bream, bream, carp. Here we go. All right, I got a carp for Kent. Hopefully he enjoys it. Oh, God. Okay, that is all put away. Looking good. I'm going to put the strawberry in there just in case. That's something that's good to help us win the contest. I have a food bin. Oh, you have to buy the recipe from Pierre. That makes sense. I, there's probably a lot of recipes that I need to buy. I think I have a, a place for these decorations. There it is. 
Oh, and let me put all this extra wood away as well. All right, there I go. I'm getting cleaned up. This is my fiberglass rod, which I'm actually going to just put away. I don't think I need it right now because I can um, use this instead. Ah, uh, there's like, there's a way that I can, there we go. And then, um, there we go. But I probably want to take off the bait and try... Um, hmm. All right. Good. Got it. All right, that's all set. That's a good question. I've been doing a lot of hunter and um, construction. Mr. Smith, I think I've got at least 20. Neo is the dog. Brew. Neo is our canine companion. All right, let's see if this fishing rod, the new fishing rod, can catch anything amazing. There's a bunch of fish that I'm missing. Neo Hambaster? That would have been funny. We got our best smallmouth bass. So I want to look at a... Uh, which fish that I need to catch for the community center because there's a bunch. That's another smallmouth bass. Um, let me go into this and check it out. So the fish tank, this is, I'm in the lake, right? And I need a sturgeon. That's the only fish left I need in the lake. And then for night fishing, I need a walleye and an eel. So... I don't know if night fishing can be accomplished in the lake, it's if, or if it's anywhere, or if each of those fish are in different locations, and they, but they also need to be caught at night. I don't know how quite how that works. Neo shouted out for it. I was like, "Who wants to be the dog?" and Neo was the first. I'll tell you what, though. That was my first piece of trash that I caught. This trap bobber, or whatever it is that I'm using. This new pole. I don't know what it is. Maybe I got, like, a little bit better chance to get what I'm looking for. I don't know. Never mind. Completely take back everything I said. I'm catching a bunch of garbage now. I jinxed myself. I was like, wow, I'm catching fish after fish after fish. Now, no, no, no. It is not fish after fish. It is people's detritus. It is lake pollution. I'm cleaning out the lake one piece of trash at a time. It's good, though. I feel good about it. Like, yeah, I'm making my contribution to Stardew Valley. By gutting their lake. It feels like it for me too. Mandrake. I'm getting wrecked. Oh. I, I have to go to a mountain lake? Oh, well then I'm never catching that. I didn't know that there was more than one lake. Do I have access to the mountain lake? Mr. Ambassador. That's funny.
Is the mountain lake up by the train tracks, or is it over by the mine? God, I'm trying to think, like, where is that? It's one. It's the one by the mine. Okay, thank you. That actually helps me. And then for night fish, is there one key night fish in, like, freshwater, saltwater, like, ocean, river, lake? I don't know how to... I'll figure it out, but thank you. Well, then I don't need to be fishing here, really. I'm just going to catch stuff that I already have, which is smallmouth bass. So let's... Let's put the kibosh on that then and start organizing our stuff and getting ready to get those bones for Gunther. You know, that's the thing that I found is that if I do these bigger quests that post on the board that Mayor Lewis built, sometimes the rewards that you get are really, really strong. So I want to make sure I'm doing those. All right, I'm going to dump in this. I'm going to dump in... Uh, these, and then, yeah, you can have this trash and stuff too, dude. Now, I don't think I have enough time to, to finish that, so I'm just, you know, throwing stuff in there. This, oh god, this quest right here, yeah, it's already passed, okay, so, fair enough. Then if it's already gone... Uh-oh. Let me go in. No, no. Let me put... The left click is is just breaking me. I'm, I'm not doing a good job with it. All right, here we go. I'm going in. And I'm going to dump these in here. Oops. No, I don't want that. Just dump that in there. There we go. Uh, we can put a... No, these staircases might be useful. Put that food away. There we go. Oh, that's right. If I build the shed, I can move all my stuff into the building, and you do that to clean up how your farm looks? That's a really good idea. I might do that, too. To tidy up. Just another 10,000. I was going to say, I, I didn't want to say it. I'm glad you said it, but I was like, this sounds like Brew, Brew's OCD coming back again. Yeah, you can really optimize if you do that. Tomorrow, we're all getting together for the flower dance. If you can find a partner, you might even want to participate in the dance yourself. There's a little clearing beyond the forest, west of town, where we hold the dance. Arrive between 9 and 2 if you're interested. I'm interested. Let me see if Maru wants to go. And so the secret to... Maru um, going is called diamonds. Maru likes diamonds. I've got 29 diamonds to give Maru. She should really be happy about it. Okay. Um. Alright, let's talk to the animals. She should definitely accept with four hearts. Great. Yeah, I've, I've never, you know, made it uh, this far in the game, obviously, and so I don't know what's going on with these relationships, what you have to have, what you don't have to have. All right. Let me hit in here and see how's it going. It is going great. We've got milk. And then let me go over here. And let's get these eggs. Uh-huh. Perfect. You always go for the chick with purple hair. I like Maru because she, yeah, she has purple hair, which is cool. But she's also like, she's got those glasses and she's like into science and stuff. I like that. That's cool. Seems pretty happy and upbeat, too. Oh, Abigail? Abigail does have purple hair, yeah. 
Or maybe I'm thinking of the wrong person. Oh my god, look at all these strawberries. We're getting rich. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Let me then drop a lot of this stuff off for processing. Time to get our our industry going. It's cheese time. And mayonnaise time. Oh god. My mouse wheel is going rogue on me. Alright, let me uh, throw that in the preserves jar. And then... Nope, don't need it. Put it in there. Terrific. There's a truffle. I see it. There's two truffles. Yes. Uh, there's Lance. Just tooling around. All right. Perfect. All right. Let's go make some oil. I got to go into mine and see if I can kill some skeletons. But first... Yeah, you know what, Mandrake? I, that's one of the things I also really like about the game. There's so many, like, all, many, many of the people in the town are great. You could find all manner of partner. Oh, it's that day. Oh, wait, I don't really want to talk to... I want to talk to Maru, but is Maru exercising too? Does she go with them? I think she does, doesn't she? All right, let me go see if I can find her really fast. And then I'm going to go back to the mine. <laughs> oh, there's George. All right. Let me buy the... Uh, So, let's see. There it is. Grass starter. I just saw it. Here it is. The recipe. Yeah, you just need fiber. Well, I, I have plenty of fiber. Perfect. Now I can make it. You're right. Any other recipes this guy has that I can buy? No, that's the one recipe he had, and I should have bought it. I'm embarrassed. All right. Now we're good. I can't remember if I have level, like, the max level of, uh, foraging or not, but I'm going to pretend like it's helpful to pick this up. Oh, my, my tap is done. Got some pine tar here. Let me get this other pine tar. We could also fish for the sturgeon. Tempting. Linus is just chilling. Checking it out. He's like, man, this looks great. Linus, what do you like as a gift? Do you... Um... Do you like mushrooms? This is a great gift. Thank you. He does kind of like it. He's not picky. <laughs> He's like, I'll take anything. You get whatever you want to give me. I'm happy with it. Thank you so much. All right, dude. I can do that for you. All right. Let's go find some skeletons. I want to say that around here we can find some, but I could be wrong. What is the... um? that body of water inside count as 
Is that a lake? The... The body of water in the mine. You can catch ghost fish? Interesting. Nah, I definitely went to the wrong floor for skeletons. I thought they were like around this point, but my memory. We're gonna get there. Look at all that fiber. Oh, my diet is about to just get real regular with all this fiber. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. We've got a baddie. It's the bee. It's the way down. Here we go. We're chopping it up. We're doing a little gardening. Looking. I love coming into this mine with this sword. Compared to Skull Cavern. It's such a relief. It's like, ah. I don't have to worry about any of this. Yeah, well, yeah. There it is. Come on, skeletons. I know you're down here. Crab. Crab, I got a crab. It happened. Uh-oh. The green cloud of death, the miasma, is seeping in. It is famous last words, you're right. I'm like, oh, I'm cruising in here, and then all of a sudden, I'm dead. My character wipes. Get me out of here. Now, this is the uh, eaten kind. I'm proud of that. Hey, hey, Dragon Save, what is up, my friend? How you doing? Good to see you. How you been? Oh, we got to way down, everybody. All right. I swear there were skeletons somewhere. That is great, dragon. Even these guys, they're like, we want to hurt you. And it's like, nah, you don't really. You don't really. Just finished up some D&D. &D. That is awesome. We've been talking about D&D &D earlier. Super Games got his campaign and group working. Brew is missing out on his D&D &D group. My group hasn't been able to meet for a while. It's so cool what, um, how much more people play D&D &D back when, like, when I was young and I wanted to get the, uh, the second edition Dungeons and 
um, pl the, the player's handbook, it was like my parents were skeptical because they had heard some like negative news coverage about D and D being, you know, like demonic or whatever. It took it took a little bit of convincing. <laughs> No, it wasn't cool. I thought it was cool, but... I was too clueless to understand that it wasn't. I was like, yeah. Exactly. Grandmas are like, no, you can't play D&D. That's the game of the devil. Oh, awesome. Dragon. Yeah, some of the modules are really, really great. Yeah, the same thing for me, Mandrake, which is that, like, um, I didn't know much about um, miniatures and stuff until I started going to the, a game store in our town and I started seeing all the miniatures and all the cool things that they had and then we would go there for D&D &D campaigns and um, that's where I got like my first Magic the Gathering cards and uh, Dungeons and Dragons even had some collectible trading cards um, prior to Magic that I was also really into. I don't know if you guys ever saw some of those cards. They were sweet. It would be like... There was no game to go with them. They were just like baseball cards, but D&D &D cards. And they would give you... Um, stats for, like, classic D&D &D characters. So, like, it would be, you know, the Dragonlance heroes, Raceland, and all those. They, they would show you, like what they estimated that character to be like 18th level wizard with this gear and stuff like that um it was cool oh heroescape man heroescape was so good that was like D, &D light and i would always try to play that with my friends to get them into D, &D. i found some heroescape plastic minis not the game itself anymore, but just some HeroScape plastic minis, like, in my stuff. And I, there was a period recently where, maybe a few years ago, where I was painting miniatures, and I painted it. Came out pretty good. Alright, it's getting late. Let's go home. Well, that was not good in terms of finding skeletons, but I found a lot of other stuff, so... Exactly. That's the thing about D&D. It's just like, anymore, it's now just a good time to get together, like, buy a bunch of snacks and stuff, and, uh, yeah, nerd out, have fun. Yeah, Warhammer minis are super easy to find. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, Neo, you know, it's one of those... It, it can be really hard to... to get people together. Me and my buddy... We would just go to the local game shop like when we were kids because nobody else played D&D. Um, and we would go there and like there would be flyers up where people were like, we're running a campaign. And then you pull off the tab that has like the phone number on it, you know, like apartment for rent or whatever. But it was like campaign. And then uh, you would you would meet up there and, and play at the shop. It was sweet.
Oh yeah, brew. They, yeah, you know, it's interesting, like, they probably exist, but yeah, maybe you have to check out different avenues or, or something to figure out where. Maybe in a different form. Alright, so now I can make grass starter. I'm just going to make a bunch. I'm going to make all of it. Yeah, make me this grass starter. Let's do this. Let's make grass. Oh, look at me. I'm making grass. That's awesome. I've done it. Oh, God. I'm going to pass out. I didn't... I wasn't paying attention. At my own farm... I've passed. I'm dead. My character has died. Mmm. Yeah, manga is super popular right now. And has been for a while. I have passed away. Who found me? Oh, maybe if you pass out of your own farm, it's okay. And nobody has to, like... Br oh, no, they tell you right here who found me. Linus, you're lucky I found you. You were unconscious and someone was searching your pockets. I have no idea how much money they took. <laughs> they ran away as soon as I approached. Be more careful. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. So let me break this down. So I passed out about 200 feet from my front door. And at God knows what time, Linus is on my property and found me lying down. What is Linus doing, you know, at 3 a.m. on my property? That's scary enough. A and then it's like, he he makes up this story. Um, Yeah, they were like searching your pockets. They they took some money. I don't know how much it was. And then they ran away. I, I But I, I did save you. Um, so you're good. He is returning the favor. I hope he took a bunch of money. I hope he's like living the high life with all the money that he could get from from my stuff, actually. I don't think they took anything. I still have so much money. But it's fine. Oh, we got duck feathers just everywhere. Hello. She's happy. All right. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I don't think anybody took any money. They might have taken like 20 gold or something like that. It's like, but I had 80,000 on me. Yeah, that's all we took. We just wanted to get some Joja Cola. And the thing is, like, let me just... That might be the case. But here's the suspicious thing about it, and just run with me on this. We know everybody who lives in Stardew Valley. We know every single person. And so if somebody was going through my pockets, that means it's somebody who's going to be at this festival that I'm going to go see today. And they're going to know what they did. They're going to know. I'm going to see it on their face who it was. <laughs> 